How do you optimize your Pinterest account for SEO, enable rich pins, claim your website and all of that in today's video. Hi everyone, I'm Lydia and I've just started on my channel the series for Pinterest for beginners that has 8 lessons in it and today is lesson number 2. If you want to find out what all the lessons are, make sure to follow my playlist down below. On this channel, we talk about social media marketing for business, so if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe before you leave. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn about how to optimize your Pinterest account for SEO, your Pinterest profile name and description, what should they be, what should they contain, and we're also going to talk about the images on your profile, your profile image and your cover photo or newly video. In this series, we are using my Pinterest workbook, which is really helpful to keep things organized and to help you keep track of your growth, but it also provides the strategies that you need to do every day to grow your Pinterest account with a daily checklist. If you want to get the Pinterest workbook right now 20% off, you can use code MINISERIES, which is a special code I created for people that are watching these series on my channel. So make sure to click the link down below and use the code to get the workbook at a discounted price. So for today's video, for today's lesson, I'm going to be using the first chapter of the workbook, which is setting up the Pinterest account and account SEO. So as you open the chapter, you'll see that the first thing you need to do is find keywords to be able to optimize your account for SEO and this is what I suggest you do. Now how do you find the right keywords for your business? In last week's lesson we learned about what is your business, defining your business and your target audience to have a clear image of what your business does and who is it for. And in today's video, based on those things that we learned in last week's episode, you will need to define your business through keywords. So what are the keywords that you think your audience researches the most that they will want to use to find your products, services or content? I'm going to use my Etsy shop as a reference as I've mentioned in last week's video and I'm going to start researching keywords that I think people would want to search for when needing my product. So the first way to research keywords for your business is to go directly to the Pinterest search bar, write in a keyword that you think will be relevant for your business, and then pay attention to other keywords that appear there. I want you to take a second right now and write them down in the workbook. Write as many as you can down, don't write 10, write around 30 because you will be needing to use those in your Pinterest title, in your Pinterest description, but we'll also use them for boards SEO later and even for pin graphics that you'll be pinning. So go ahead and write your relevant keywords there. The next way that I suggest you do that is by clicking enter while you're searching a relevant keyword for your business in Pinterest and then seeing what other keywords the top pins have in their title or description but make sure to pick the relevant ones only after you've done that it is time to craft your pinterest title for your pinterest title use your name but only like a nickname or short name don't write your full name because people won't be able to find you you want to include keywords in your title that normally somebody would search on pinterest to find your business or a business such as yours but nobody's gonna search for you on pinterest new people that haven't heard about you they won't be able to search your name so they will have to search keywords that relate to your business for example lydia social media manager and a virtual assistant because if somebody is in need of a social media manager they will just type in social media manager and they will find your profile and that's how they will find your business. So those are the kind of keywords you need to include in your name. Next, for the Pinterest description, you'll be needing to use keywords that you haven't already used in your Pinterest title. And why that is, is because you don't need to double keywords. Pinterest already got them for your title. You'll be needing to use new keywords in your description. And your Pinterest description should say what you do and who you're doing it for, who your products will help or your services. And the most important thing in your Pinterest description includes a call to action. Now the next thing that I want you to do is go to the checklist at the bottom of the page and see which ones of these checklists you have already completed. So if you have already turned your account into a business one, make sure to check that. Everything else that you've already done that we went through. The next thing that I want us to do is to claim your website and enable rich pins. To enable rich pins, we'll have to set them up and then validate them. So here's a short tutorial on how to claim your website and also enable rich pins. After you've done that, go to the Pinterest settings and also complete other checklists that I've written here, like claiming your Etsy account, your YouTube account, and basically filling out the settings. And after you're done, make sure to also follow 20 or 30 people in your niche to give a head start to your account. Following people in your niche will allow Pinterest to understand what your Pinterest account is about because you have similar interests. Now 
the next step is going ahead and adding a profile image. What I want to suggest about your Pinterest profile profile image is to not add an image of your logo, especially if you're a freelancer, if you're a social media manager and you are the face of your brand, make sure to choose a photo, a nice photo of yourself that is clear and that shows your face. So don't show a full body image, people want to see your face and that will also help them trust you a little bit more. It will give your account a lot more authenticity. Next, if you're a product selling business, no matter the type of product that you're selling, make sure that your profile image really incorporates it's basically the most famous product in your business or something that really shows people what you sell but for example if you sell kids toys make sure to have a profile image that incorporates that because people will click on your account if they see that your profile image is exactly what you're selling as well for the board cover for Pinterest we'll be using Canva Pro because that will allow you to create animations and I want to create a short video for my board cover the reason for that is because if I use a profile image for my Pinterest profile cover it will only show one image but if I choose multiple ones and I create a short video people will be able to see more things from my shop more of my product and it will give them a bit more insight inside my business before clicking on my website to purchase my product so let's go ahead and create a profile cover right now together in Canva if you want to try Canva click the link below So that was it for today's video guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope this video helped you out in understanding how to optimize your Pinterest account for SEO and other settings that you need to do to your Pinterest account before starting to promote your unique pins. So in the next video of this series, we'll learn about how many boards your Pinterest account should have, the anchor board, what are the first pins that you need to add to your boards and also boards SEO and how to optimize them for search engine optimization. So stay tuned for that by subscribing and pressing the notifications bell. You can also follow me on Instagram for insights of my business, income reports and things that are more behind the scenes and that I don't usually share on my YouTube channel and I will share these in my IGTVs and Instagram reels as well. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget you can get the workbook at a special discounted price with 20% off if you use code MINISERIES. I promise this will help you stay a lot more organized with your Pinterest growth and keep track of your growth while learning a lot more about what to do every day to grow your Pinterest account. So click the link below and get the workbook now and let's continue this series by being organized and having a place to put it all together and keep track of that growth. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to also give it a like and I will see you all in in my next video.